Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh speaks out, uh, lashes out at PM Modi, says PM Modi has to apologise. That's the latest breaking that we are getting. Let's listen in. I am deeply pained and anguished by the falsehood and canards being spread to score political points in a lost cause by none else than Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Fearing imminent defeat in Gujarat, desperation of Prime Minister to hurl every abuse and latch on to every straw is palpable. Sadly and regrettably, Shri Modi is setting a dangerous precedent by his insatiable desire to tarnish every constitutional office, including that of a former prime minister and army chief. The Congress party needs no sermons on nationalism from a party and prime minister whose compromised attack track record on fighting terrorism is well known. Let me remind Shri Narendra Modi that he had gone to Pakistan uninvited after the terrorist attacks in Udhampur and Gurdaspur. Let him also tell the country the reason for inviting the infamous ISI of Pakistan to our strategic air base in Patan Court to investigate a terror attack that emanated from Pakistan. My track record of public service to the country over the last five decades is known to everyone. No one, including Shri Bodhi, can lamely question it to gain lost political ground. I reject the innuendos and falsehoods as I did not discuss Gujarat elections with anyone else at a dinner hosted by Shri Mani Shankaraya as alleged by Shri Modi. Nor was the Gujarat issue raised by anyone else present at the dinner. The discussion was confined to Indo-Pakistan relations. It is wrong and unfair to question nationalism of journalists, diplomats, and public servants present at the dinner. I sincerely hope that Prime Minister will show the maturity and gravitas expected of the high office he holds instead of concentrating his energy solely on scoring erroneously conceived brownie points. I sincerely hope that he will apologize to the nation for his ill-thought transgression to restore the dignity of the office he occupies.